Hey, this is Terratoots with a quick tutorial on creating a planetary view in Terrigen 4. Terrigen allows scenes ranging in size from close-up shots to entire worlds, and we can take advantage of that to create spectacular orbital views of procedurally generated planets. In this video, we'll take a look at moving the camera into orbit, creating continents, oceans, and some basic shading. Getting into orbit is pretty straightforward. We just move the camera upwards. You'll notice that the farther we get from the surface, the more sensitive the camera becomes. Let's pull out and frame a nice shot of our planet. Don't forget to apply the camera position. We'll get started by creating some continents. Let's delete the default terrain and add a new power fractal displacement. By default, this is going to be way too small. So let's increase the lead-in and feature scale to 1e to the 6th and change the smallest scale to 1000. We'll also set the displacement amplitude to 5000. It's important to know that the fractal displacement is centered around zero altitude and that it displaces both upwards and downwards. This means that we now have high areas that are larger than our original planet and low areas that are smaller than the original planet. These low areas will be our ocean. To fill the oceans and to get a good view of where our continents are, we're going to add a giant sphere object at the same location and size as our planet. You can find the sphere under Add Object, Displaceable Object, Sphere. Now, we're going to copy our planet location and size into the sphere. If we turn on the ray traced preview with shaders enabled, we'll see the sphere with its default white color and our gray continents poking through. If you don't like the arrangement, hit the random seed a few times or tweak the fractal sizes. This looks pretty good. Now let's add some color starting with the ocean. Open up the internal view of the sphere by clicking the plus on its node. We'll replace the default shader with a new surface layer and set the color to a deep blue. We'll also add a reflective shader as a child layer. And my personal preference is to bring the reflectivity down to 0.7 and the specular roughness up to 0.2 which will spread the highlight out a little bit. By default, the atmosphere is a little thick for an orbital shot. Let's first raise the ceiling adjust up to 12, which will extend the line where the atmosphere fades into space, and we'll bring the haze down to 0.5 and the blue sky density down to 1.5. This should give us a clearer view of the planet's surface. Now for the land. First, we'll add a dark green surface layer. And we'll set this to a coverage of 0 0.8 with fractal breakup so that the underlying gray shows through just a bit. The default fractal size is too small, so let's increase this to 1e to the 5. 1e to the 6th, 1000. I'm also going to set increase the color roughness to 10. This color alone is a little bland, so we'll add some variation with a power fractal in the color function. I'm going to choose a lighter green and a darker green here. And we'll set the scales to 1e to the 4, 1e to the 6th, 1000. I'm also going to increase the color roughness to 10 and add some warp for a little extra swirl. A nice way to add some realism and interest to your planet is to create color variation going from north to south. Let's add a band of yellow-green around the equator. We'll do this by adding a new yellow surface layer.
And coming into the altitude constraints, we're going to check use y. This will use the north pole as the reference point, with north being positive and south being negative. Now we can set a max altitude of negative 1 e to the sixth, and a minimum altitude of negative 7 e to the sixth. And we can see our band of color being created. Let's soften it with some large fuzzy zones. To give some variation to the yellow, we'll copy the green variations node and move the colors over towards yellow a little bit more. To finish, let's create some beaches. Create a new surface layer. And I'll just leave this at the default gray for now. Now come to the altitude constraints and set a max altitude of 150 with a fuzzy zone of 200. We won't check use Y for this, so this will just create a rim around the edge of our continents. We'll give our beaches some variation by masking them with a large scale power fractal. with some color offset to favor more beaches. Finally, add a thin global cloud layer, render, and we have our orbital view of the oceans. Now to this point, we've only applied some simple shading, and there's a lot of directions to go from here. In the description, I've included a link to a planet with some more complex shading applied, including ideas for using fractal warps to add roughness to the coastlines and additional color regions. There's no one right way here, so feel free to play around with it or try your own approach and build yourself a planet.